Hello guys, what's going on? My name is Lizzie Friday and welcome back to another episode of Persona 5, this is episode 41. Now in the last episode, we just saw Futaba's plan, or waiting for Futaba's plan. We don't even, I don't even fucking know what she did, but she's like, Oh, computer, keyboard right here. Oh my god, this is literally what she did. Just like, it's done. So I don't fucking know what the hell the deal was with that. But anyway, here we are, we're back into, um... Persona 5. We're gonna see what the hell happens. Let's see what kind of what she did. Okay. Okay, now let's wait to see what happens. There's no point in getting impatient now. Yay, right. I gotta finish Whoa. my DVD, I think. I do. Okay, cool. We're gonna get one that can update our charm next. Because uh, we need that for one of our social links. I can't even fucking remember which one it was. The editor demanded a manuscript, but the writer only hung his head in defeat. For real? This is no time for writer's block. How is he gonna make the deadline? Oh. So we finished Watch 31, huh? We were so pressed for time ourselves, but we made it. Maybe you've learned a thing or two about guts from watching mm -hmm. this drama. Maybe I did. <laughs> Certainly I ain't leveled him up yet, but whatever. Okay. Let's go return the well, DVD then. soon. Let's well, start to get late. Let's head to bed soon, okay? Give me one sec. And what the hell that was all about. Let's see. Jesus. The hell? Something's in my eye or something. I don't fucking know. Tell him who's boss. I got all these problems, guys. You listen to me. I agree, it's false justice. What's this? Are you serious? No way, I can't believe it. This isn't a joke, is it? The lost. How could that happen? Who lost? Who lost? What? Oh, Medjed lost? That's what I'm fucking talking about. Hey, your friends are here. Hurry What's down. Up? What up? Hey, we're UZ. What up? How'd it fucking go? So you're finally up, huh? Don't slack off just because you're on summer vacation. Yo, you look tired. We've made ourselves at home. Late last night, it was discovered that someone has tampered with the hacker group Medjid's website. Ha <laughs> ha, motherfuckers. The site's main page now displays what is thought to be the mark belonging to the Phantom Thieves. More so, the personal information of a Japanese man, a possible Medjid member, was illegally publicized. God damn, how the fuck does she find that shit? Aren't these the guys people have been up in arms about? Medjid has yet to issue an official reply. Furthermore, their previously announced cleanse of Japan has remained unimplemented for now. Some speculate that they have taken this series of events seriously and ultimately canceled their plan. You got damn right you did, you fuckers. Yeah. Pyramid of Wrath <laughs> plundered. What are you all smirking about? Something great happened. Well, stop it. You're gonna drive away all my customers. After the commercial break, we will be asking guests from various fields about this turn of events. But there ain't any customers. <laughs> Can it? My customers are on summer vacation too. That means they'll be able to come here more often, man. That's a good thing. Oh crap, I just realized our break's almost over. There are still ten days left. I want to go somewhere, but we can't just leave Futaba-chan alone. What the fuck do we care? She's fine. She even went outside. What the fuck do I care? Some things still concern me too. Like that research. Oh yeah, that's right. We gotta use her uh, mama for some uh, info about the shit. What the hell? Seriously. Jesus. My hair is getting out of control, guys. I don't know. Oh. Did you just get up? See, that is what I'm talking about. She's fine now. What the fuck do I care? I'm not trying to. Good morning. Unless I could do a social link with her, I don't give a shit. <gasps> it seems she's cautious of us. Hey, uh, why don't we go upstairs? If any customers come, she'll be even more afraid. Why don't you go with them, Futaba? Have fun. It's about time my regulars show up anyway. So I don't want you guys loitering around my store. Yeah, fuck off, soldier -o. The fact that there were no damages due to the hacker's actions is but an afterthought. Shido, this is the dude that we threw down because he was fucking with the girl that time, wasn't he? Or at least he looks the same. The Agent 47 looking bitch ass. I didn't even know he was called Shido. I don't know how he got that information, but... The issue I want to make clear is the attitude of the police, and more importantly, the government. <sighs> Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Are they doing their best to find an effective countermeasure against these phantom thieves? 
Is it not the government's duty to create a society where its citizens can live without worry? I think you're focusing on the wrong people. Why don't you why don't you focus your actions on the people that are actually causing all this shit going around, man? Why you gotta worry about a phantom thieves? Phantom thieves ain't got nothing to do with you, bitch ass. Unfortunately, the current cabinet is powerless. As such, they should be disbanded. That's I believe now is the time for me to risk my political career in hope of making a new reality. A new political system that goes beyond parties or factions. An ideal country of peace and order. This politician seems quite promising. I have to agree. I hope he can work to ease the anxieties of the elderly. What do you think, boss? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Uh, I wasn't listening. Does everyone call him boss now, even the customers? So the Phantom Thieves only stole the heart of Futaba Sakura? And Mejid was in turn defeated by her real-world hacking abilities? This does correlate to the facts as we know them. If he's telling the truth, then Wakaba Ishiki didn't commit suicide. Mm hmm Did a third party target her life with the goal of destroying her research? That's what I thought, but... They said that it could have been used uh, to steal it, as opposed to destroying it. I don't know. I thought it was to destroy it at first, too, but... Maybe this cognitive science bullshit is actually worth the salt in something. Wakaba's death was two years ago. That also coincides with when the incident started occurring. Does this other metaverse user that Matarame and Kaneshiro mentioned really exist? It's just a matter of um, what they use the science for. If they got their hands on the science, chances are they'd know about the metaverse and be able to tap into it in some way. Earlier, I briefly mentioned about those psychotic breakdown incidents that have alarmed the public. All of a sudden, people will lose consciousness or become violent. A situation as incomprehensible as that can't be explained away as troubled social conditions. I suspect that these cases are all connected to a larger, man-made plot. The method involved always muddled the explication, but your story has virtually confirmed its viability. Although I wouldn't have expected a new criminal to come to light from your testimony. What did your group think of this other Metaverse user? The true criminal. Not so different from us. Unimportant. I don't think we really paid him much mind, to be honest with you. Are you saying it didn't matter to you that complete strangers were being victimized? I didn't even know that complete strangers were being victimized. Now that you've said that, now I, now I think they're a little bit of an asshole, you know? <laughs> well, no matter how you thought of them, there can be no doubting your resolve. Are those incidents because of you or someone else? Either way, I will get to the bottom of this. I feel my bond with Say is growing deeper. Ooh. Judgment. Prosecutor. It does. Uh... All right. Epic. Okay. Now, let's move on to your next crime. Kunikazu Okumura. You should know who he is, considering what happened. Your testimony regarding this incident will be serious. I'm sure you understand why. Answer my next question carefully. What did you do to this Okumura? He doesn't look like a bad guy. He looks like a just a regular dude. The summary of the story is updated, yeah. Okay. To think the cognitive version of a person would transform into such a horrible monster and attack us. That means our enemies aren't limited to shadows. I thought the other people were just victims. Like the slaves at the castle, or the walking ATMs. Even though they seem to be alive, they're only part of the backdrop. The environment. In other words, the palace ruler determines the form and strength of their cognitions. I would have loved to ask Futaba's mother how far along she was with her research. Research, huh? She was looking into that cognitive science stuff, yeah? If we put together all the information we've gathered up to this point, Abuse of cognitive science can lead to death, and it may even relate to the psychotic breakdown incidents. Hmm. So what, they, you're saying they used uh, Wakaba's research against her? Considering the cognitive aspect, I sense a strong connection between it and the metaverse. Mm-hmm. On top of that, the research might have been stolen and used by someone else. 
Yep. Or destroyed, as Say said. You mean those guys that showed Futaba-chan the fake suicide note? If that is the case, those people are unforgivable. Hey, Futaba, is there anything else you can remember? I didn't even know she was here. I completely, I was not looking at the <laughs> background at all. I guess not. Oh, well. She is quite difficult. That smell. Come on, no fair. What happened? Can I snag a bite? I I'm swear I'm not pressing anything, guys. Meanie. Controller. Oh no, it's allowing me to press it now. I see you have to press A to get it. Why to don't pass. we take a short break? I've been thinking, even if Futaba is a genius, could she really crush an international hacker organization that easily? Not easily. It took all fucking day. I was able to clean her room and fuck around. Like, just fucking, like, counting sheep with fucking Morgana the whole goddamn time, pretty much. The one who taunted the Phantom Thieves was a guy in Japan. I knew the Medjed members in Japan weren't anything special, so I wasn't worried. How do you know that? Because I'm the founder. Okay. Um, what do you mean? Should we take that literally? <laughs> yep, it was only me at first back when I was referred to as the Hacker of Justice. But since I stayed anonymous, a bunch of guys from all over the world started using the name. And those were the ones committing cyber crimes. Oh, so it was, the real Medjed was like, um, just used as like a, a scapegoat of some point. Yeah, that's rough. It was a hassle to expose all of them, so I just left them be. Oh. Uh... So, Futaba was the true Medjed, and we were freaking out over some weak-ass dipshits? <laughs> I mean, you know. they they I knew they were never going to do anything. They, oh, I'm putting it on hold. Like you were planning on causing a shit to happen in the first place, man. Come on. Pull the other one, seriously. I feel like the start of that, uh, the, that movie. Pull the other one. I am King you Arthur. Told us from the start, Futaba. I discarded the Medjed name a while ago. I'm Alibaba now. Futaba, what do you want to do now? Am I in the middle here? Am I in the middle of my face cam? Since you know our secret, we'd like you to join our team. I could be off frame, but I'll fix it in post, guys. Okay. Wait till. Just like that? This may even ensure our investigation of mementos goes along smoothly. Well, I guess. Well, Futaba's real amazing. She's gonna be a big help for us, huh? Say, Futaba, how did you find out about us? Secret. <laughs> Where did you learn to hack? Private. When did you obtain the nav? I actually saw that happen. I refuse to answer. Futaba-chan sure is unique. You fucking she also knows that you're the you're the sister of that prosecutor, so she probably doesn't want to fucking say shit to you. At least I assume. If they look back at all of us. She probably doesn't trust Makoto, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess it out here. She does not like Makoto, I'm gonna see what it now. Still, it'll be a problem if she doesn't open up to us some more. What are you at talking least, about her like she isn't just right fucking there? With her. What should we do? Let's get to know her. How? First, we'll need to help her open up to us. If we each spend an entire day with her, maybe she'll get more used to being around us. <sighs> Fucking hell. Okay. Let's I see. Do it. We do have the time thanks to summer vacation. Yeah, we only got 10 more days, but let's make the most of it. We can begin tomorrow. Let's go to the beach. There'll be tons of people there. Plus, we got totally dried out in that desert. That's a great idea! I forgot I hadn't gone to the beach yet. Hell yeah, let's fucking do it. Uh, excuse me. I'll come by tomorrow. See you then. Let me help as well. I don't have anything planned. Thanks. We can set a schedule with everyone else depending on when they're free. Let's do it! Okay! Oh, what the fuck is... Can I really do this? Do what? 
It'll be a disaster. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. Why me? <laughs> but what? That's what I was talking Stress about. Stress is the enemy of beauty, you know. How can I stay calm about this? I understand how you feel. Thanks to the incident with those hackers, people are calling us incompetent. Yeah, right. Relax now. Here we go. And on top of all that, the Phantom Thieves are claiming justice is on their side. Don't make me laugh. Measured was dealt with by either the Phantom Thieves themselves, or some avid supporter. There are no tracks whatsoever, so they must be quite skilled. Either way, the general public recognizes the Phantom Thieves as the subjugating party. They're gaining yeah, support right. and influence much faster than we could have anticipated. It is indeed an abnormal situation. I'm beginning to suspect mass manipulation of some kind. It's even possible that a powerful person is behind them, plotting the psychotic breakdowns. If only I had realized sooner. It's rare to hear you speak in that tone. For the sake of my justice, I won't forgive them. Wow. It's funny. You guys seething over that now. Who the fuck is that? Hey, I heard some people talking about us on a train home. They were saying how awesome they think the Phantom Thieves are. I heard some things too, it's becoming a huge topic of conversation. To be fair, the casualties from a Medjay attack would have been massive. I was still surprised they revere us from preventing it. Good to hear. It was close though. Good to hear. Yeah, it's all thanks to Alibaba, you were great help. It was nothing. Oh, that reminds me. Remember all this stuff about ATMs and banks just stopping? That was Medjay, was it? Nope, that was totally separate. So people were overreacting in mere coincidence? Either that or the rumors were never true to begin with. You seem to be quite talkative in these conversations. Is that so? I'll shut up then. <laughs> Rex, Mr. Fucking Yusuke. I don't think she'd get it, but I'm pretty sure she's angry. You gotta apologize, Yusuke. Me? Why? Hey, is this really going to be okay? I'm worried about how things will be from now on. What do you mean, is it gonna be okay? Trying to thought was gonna be a lot of work more than stealing someone's heart. I don't give a shit. Now my Phantom Thieves, I knew they'd pull it off. This definitely proves the justice of the Phantom Thieves. You may be right. Right? It feels great. Even the guys who have been criticizing the Phantom Thieves basically have to accept them now. The news has been spreading like wildfire too. I'll give it an extra boost on my site as well. I'll bet the approval rating will be through the roof tomorrow. I look forward to it. Why is he, of all people, getting excited about this? <laughs> it's, it's fucking, um, what the hell's his name? Mishima. Mishima's awesome, dude. What do you mean? What is he beating? He's excited about everything we do. Well, the news really did draw a lot of attention. I can't wait to see what happens. Dude, everyone's freaking out about how hard it's going to be to train Futaba, man. I'm like, yeah. It's fine, it's worth the effort. She's gonna be a good member of our team. Everyone needs to chill the fuck out. I'm thirsty for info. I can even turn the most trivial info into an article. Come on, it's time for my source to shine. You're gonna stop by. Ah. Uh, sure, why not? Let's do it. I don't know if I'm gonna level you up yet, but let's, oh, let's do honey. it. You sure do come here a lot. I don't really mind it, but keep yourself in check, okay? Come on. Is there. this weather a result of climate change? Oh, well, fuck it now. All right, then take a seat. All right, whatever. At least I'll be on. Oh, yeah, seems happy. I provided her some info. Maybe there's a way to make sure Oya has a good time. Uh, she can use at work. Aha. Uh -huh. Fuck. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. For the young at heart, uh, for the new lover, for a sensual person, after focus, traditional lady, traditional lady, lover in your life, sweet tooth, sweet tooth, sweet tooth, avid runner, discerning eye, art enthusiast. For the gentleman. I don't know. Let's find out, guys. I am cheating again. Uh, oh, yeah. Persona 5 gifts. Let's see. Fountain pen. Okay. There you go. This is the re released version. Not too many pieces carried. How'd you find this? It's got the dense heft of a fine pen, but it feels so light and smooth Thanks when you write. Bunch. This pen is the best of the best. Thanks, I'm going to start writing with this right away. Hey, not bad. I feel my bun. Obtained reward benefactor. And that's going to get closer well soon. Okay, bye. See ya. Oh, fucking. She looks like an older 
Oh, she sounds like an older Yukiko, almost. Well, then. She had that kind of coarse, like, well, then, you know? Well, then. Something <laughs> just like a wet. What's up, Igor? Our master would like a word with you. Stand up straight and listen closely, inmate. Well, then shut the fuck up it so we can you talk. you freed the heart of a frenzied girl and saved her from her haunted past. It seems. Just casually, right? No big deal. <laughs> Another step has been taken to rehabilitation. You are progressing quite nicely. Thank you, Igor. I appreciate that. Our master bestows words of praise upon you. You'd better feel honored. By the by, more curious information has found its way to your ears. A scientist's research. It seems that world may secretly be known after all. Furthermore, that very research has been stolen and is now used by those with malicious intent. Is that what it was? So, say was incorrect that it was the, the destruction, you know? I wonder how this will change the approach you take toward your rehabilitation. Who stole the research? I have a bad feeling. I believe I told you we would spare no expense in cooperating with you. Allow me to grant you a new power worthy of your current self. Though you have my aid, be sure not to let your guard down. Otherwise, you may get swept off your feet. Oh, of course not. Never gonna happen. I'm always going in full, uh, full speed ahead, you know? I feel my bond with Igor's girl. Seven. Hell yeah. Prison master. All right. We shall meet again in the near future. Time to go, inmate. Bye bye. Bye bye. Like Devin Weston. Bye bye. 60.5. God damn. <clears throat> I'm totally sold now. I knew the Phantom Thieves would pull through. Can you believe they actually took down hackers? It's cool how they don't reveal what they're doing. Who was that guy who was criticizing them? A catchy? It's pretty lame to just criticize without doing anything yourself. Everyone's mad at Akechi now. <laughs> no wonder he was so angry. Okay. Makoto and Yusuke are scheduled for today, huh? I haven't seen it. What happened to him? Fataba, can you open up? Open what? The front door. Why? Won't you come too, Connor? We're in front of Fataba's house. You want me here, not a LeBlanc? Is that more comforting? You never mentioned this. It would be nice if you could hurry up down soon. It's scorching hot out here. You demon! Um... Looks like we're meeting up immediately with Fataba's. Okay. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. What <laughs> is that supposed to be? Don't worry about it. Such avant-garde design. You have excellent taste. <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? What do you plan on doing? I'd like to simply have a normal conversation. That is the basis of true communication, after all. You seem confident. Yes. You must be well-versed in speaking when you are student council president. Don't think too hard about our conversation. We're just going to talk about ordinary topics today. And what do you mean by ordinary topics? You know, things like food or the weather. Well then, let's begin with food. What do you like to eat, Futaba? Organic ones. Um, that wasn't exactly what I meant. <laughs> uh, let's try a different topic. How about the weather? The weather is fucking hot. How about I heard that? that this heat wave is showing no sign of stopping. This is so painful. Mm. How is this supposed to help? Now I fucked up my hair again. Guys, it's difficult. Okay, give me a break. Trying to, trying to look presentable, and I never can. Then I'll, I haven't been out. Oh, right. Makoto's getting overwhelmed. <laughs> it, this is odd. It, it wasn't supposed to go like this. By the way, Yusuke, what have you been doing this whole time? He's making art. Give oh, him a break. Superb. Yeah, look Some at that. Some of their heads came off when I was moving them, but. I made sure to rearrange them pleasingly. 
Look at that. My, my children. What, what have you done to my children? <laughs> they appear to be quite shoddily made. They're from Phoenix Rangers Neo Featherman. I forgot about that. What? Uh, every time. Uh, there, there's also reference to that in Persona 4, too. No. Yellow and pink's heads. And red's been hacked to bits. This is all Inari's fault. Who the fuck is that? Inari? You know, Inari sushi, the tofu things foxes eat in the old stories? What kind of fox doesn't know that? What? I don't know that. Inari. Oh, they were in the perfect poses, too. It was so much work getting them set up just right. Uh, you wouldn't know aesthetics if it hit you in the face, Inari. <laughs> you fucking wrecking him. Uh, how dare you say that to me? Of all people. <laughs> you, you fucked up your art set, too. Sheesh, that's not a conversation anymore. It's a full-blown argument. This is better, though. It's trial by fire. Yeah. I see. So their versatility allows you to recreate almost any dramatic scene you can imagine. Mm-hmm. Victory is great for action, and Neo's got the best transforming suit. So cool. Fascinating. Art depicts a flash of inspiration, but models offer a much different means of enjoyment. Huh? Take a look at that. Futaba's having a regular conversation. That's what I'm talking about. Fuck off with the weather and other bullshit like that. It seems she doesn't have a problem talking to others as long as the subject interests her. I suppose the topics I brought up were not the right ones. So this is all I gotta do? What a breeze! In that case, we should advance to the next step. How about we have her spend time in someone else's room? Yes! She hasn't had many chances to leave the house yet, so that would be the perfect opportunity. Don't set the bar so high! Well, I'll be there too. Just give it a try. Oh, I can't stand this gung-ho way of doing things. That's the way you gotta do it, and Ryuji. He'll be there as well, so you'll be okay. Can I wear my mask? I think it would be best if you didn't. <laughs> There's really no telling how tomorrow's going to go. Ah, that did is it. <sighs> Not bad for a first time. She's still got a way to go, though. I wonder how long before she's ready for the beach. Dude, people are so pumped. They're talking about, about the Phantom Thieves took down Medjet. Mishima's website is a shit ton of comments floating in, too. The news coverage has been pretty insane as well. Yeah, they only spoken of the Phantom Thieves for the entirety of today. We have been getting the attention all over the city. So, how's the one who helped us take down Medjet doing? Futawa-chan! My Phoenix Rangers almost met their demise! It was Yusuke's fault. Don't complicate things further. Anyway, things don't go perfectly, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. Tomorrow's goal will be to spend time in someone else's room. Futawa's difficult personality to handle. Good luck, you two. Shut it, Inari. All right, it's your turn next. See you tomorrow, Fatawa. We have so much to talk about. Oh, I can't Lady wait. Lady and Ryuji teaming up honestly worries me. But I guess we'll see what they can do. Phantom Thief news. Amanda gonna leave you up. I know we have something on the Phantom Thieves. Come on, let's chat. Finally, Jesus. I got into some fucking social link stuff going on here. <laughs> hey, he's my number one guy. What kind of news you got for me? I'll smack you if it's not good enough. Hey, you sure you okay? <laughs> what do you mean? You worried about me, Lala-chan? You're usually kind of... <gasps> Man, I haven't seen her drink this much in forever. What? I haven't been drinking at all. I'm totally not drunk. Did something bad happen? Having trouble at work? Oh, you're sharp, kid. Truth is, uh, my quota got doubled. I'm gonna take like four times as much work to get that much done, though. They're shacking me down, so I won't have time for anything else. Oh, my chief's such a shithead. He must not like you. Did he find out? Not real sure that that bastard probably knows something's up. Damn it. Before this, I was starting to feel like a real journalist again. The rush of investigating Kaio's case, uncovering the dark secrets hidden away by our corrupt society. But now it's going to be impossible to run my investigation with this quota. 
That doesn't sound good. Of course it's not good, but what am I supposed to do? They'll fire me if I can't reach my quota. Hey, Lolaton, if they fire me, can I live here? Though it still won't help my investigation, though. The incident's over a year old and the authorities aren't doing shit. Maybe Kaio really was the true culprit. Do we have evidence of that? You should trust in her. You might be right. You should trust in her. That goes without saying. I mean, if I don't, who will? Watch your temper. <sighs> what am I doing? I mean, I'm the one who get dragged Kaio into politics. It's my fault this ended up happening to her. You know, she started out in book publishing, mostly talk, taking photos of nature and wild animals. She was a genius behind the camera, though. That's why I just thought she would make the perfect partner for me. Hey, you can't blame yourself. Kaio chan is just set up exposing the evils of society as you were, isn't that right? Shit. But if I didn't get her involved in the first place, damn it, that incident's all my fault. That's why I've got to get to the bottom of it. That's the spirit, you're a great journalist. What about your quota? How should I know? I'll figure it out somehow. You know, it's weird how calm I get when I'm talking to you. It's almost like you actually understand Sorry. Me. Oh, and I'm sorry for snapping at you earlier. The stress must have gotten to me. It's all... It's just all this quota business is driving me crazy. I'm gonna have to put all my focus on that for now. I'll still be counting on you for Phantom Thieves stories, though, as long as you're up for it. Okay. Sounds good to me. All right. And just nothing. Okay. I think I'm going to have to ease off my investigation for a while, too. I don't need any more eyes on me. But I might be able to ask some of my co-workers for help. Journalists will do anything for a scoop. Now then, I'll take any tidbits you have for me today. <laughs> Hope I don't mind if I get back to drinking, though. The whole conversation really sobered me up. You could have fooled me. Man, I'm getting late. I'll see you later. You're going to have, like, cirrhosis by the time you're, like, 50. Hey, kid, thanks for spilling on the Phantom Thieves earlier. If I'm being serious, I mean genuinely, you're actually serious, I really appreciate you. If I'm only able to meet my insane quota because of the info you give me on Phantom Thieves. Glad to hear that. Don't work yourself to death. I'll dig up some more for you. Yeah, keep it coming. You're seriously dependable, kid. But yeah, for now, I guess I'll have the intel gathering of my partner in crime. I gotta focus on meeting my quota. I'll never give up my own investigation. Okay, let's call it a day. Looking forward to your next big scoop. I didn't tell you shit on the Phantom Thieves today. <laughs> next big scoop. I ain't tell me nothing. Hmm. You seem surprisingly calm. I thought you'd be more panicked. There are no customers. Yo! We're here! <laughs> Fucking scum. Sorry we're late. We were out buying stuff and I got a little caught up in what to get. So many snacks. What exactly do you plan on doing? Well, summer vacation's the time when you lounge around in your room all day. Yeah, and eating snacks is the best part of that. You're gonna get fat, you know. Uh, shut it! <laughs> hey, where's Futaba? I don't know. You have done know. well in coming here. What? Hey, At that Tata. again. Shit freaked me out! Ugh. Hey, you, Futaba? <laughs> Sorry, Futaba. Yep. What? Oh, Why shit. are you wearing that? Didn't mean to do that. Have it. Anyway, bring it. Not sure I get it, but let's do this. Sheesh. Looks like today is going to be another noisy day. For real, it was freaking amazing. There were girls all over me. Okay, I could have believed you up until that point. Wait. You don't believe a word I'm saying, do ya? Nope. Uh, it's you we're talking about here. <laughs> There's no way you were ever a chick magnet. What was that? Agreed. As a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm from you, Ryuji. Haha, <laughs> loser. Plus, popular guys wouldn't go bragging about that stuff to other people. I keep wondering if I should do it while I'm still young. But the dresses show a lot of skin, right? Hey, are you even listening? No. There's no point talking about wedding dresses right now. None of us have significant others. Yeah, not yet. I haven't worked on that yet, actually. Yep, I'm not getting married anytime soon. Can we please talk about something else? <laughs> you know, Futaba's fine having conversations. Yeah. She doesn't have any trouble speaking her mind. Seems totally normal to me. 
I don't know what normal is, but if this is it, I'm happy. I totally thought you were gonna be some weirdo, but <laughs> I guess all that worrying was for nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm relieved too. I think things should keep going smoothly at this rate. By the way, what's on the agenda for tomorrow? How about we have her try helping around the cafe? That's perfect! It'll be good practice to have her up in front of strangers. Eep! Nope, nope, nope! Showing up in the shop at lunchtime will be like super crushing hard mode! They haven't even given me a job yet. Motherfucker, he's like, oh, get a job if you want some money. I'm like, well, why don't you hire me? I, I, I'll make coffee. I'll talk to people. Come on, man. I'll be a barista. Fucking right. You don't have to deal with customers if you don't want to. Maybe you could dry plates in the back. <laughs> Won't you help me? I'll be there too. Don't push yourself. Won't you help me? Oh, okay. Every time I say something, I think it's because I'm the leader. I can like project my, you're going to help me. You're going to do it now. You're going to fucking like it. You understand that? Probably not. I don't know. Then it's all set. We'll be rooting for you, Futaba. Uh, you're all gonna pay for this someday. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? What you gonna do? Huh? What y'all gonna do? Fight me. Become prime minister, please. I will. One of these days, I will. I promise. Did the Phantom Thieves start all these scandals, too? No, I don't think those had calling cards. You know, like, change the people's hearts from the shadows. Is it me, or have there been more posts from foreigners lately? Maybe I should make a request on that forum, too. Our popularity is through the roof, you guys gotta hear this. The cute chick says she wants to go out with a phantom thief, but you not you specifically, huh? Not surprised, as a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm from you, Ryuji. You don't gotta say it over text, too! What in the world were y'all doing today? Girl talk at LeBlanc, and are more like chatting and snacking, really. So she's completed a rejective for the day. Next up is practice going out in front of people. Wait, what? You'll be fine, Connor. I'll spend... You... Connor will be with you the whole time. Y'all just... Y'all just love scheduling shit on my behalf, don't you? We want to ease you into it, so it'll be your first test. We'll be helping out at LeBlanc. Only Connor will be with you tomorrow. Good luck. We got it. Leave it to me. Thanks for the help. Hey! You better make an effort co tomorrow, Connor. Okay, fine. I'm not gonna half ass okay. it like I usually do. She seems to be opening up a little. Maybe we're finally inching our way to the beach. Let's do it. Oh, fuck. No, I need to look at my Ooh. Here we go. Oh, you're working today? Kyle Cummings working today. Usually, all the phone you want to call her. Uh, I don't know. Am I gonna level up? Am I gonna level up? Oh! Hi! This is Becky Yamaha Knight. I'll cool you down in your stress. Oh, it's you. It's so hot. Your house doesn't have air conditioning, does it? Oh, well, I'll endure it if you're gonna request me. As long as you request me, I'll work. Oh, hey! Wait, fucking waste of my time. Whatever! Let's do it! Then I'll head over! Kyle Kami seems happy I request her. Is my imagination, or does she not look well? Maybe there's a way to make sure she has a good time. Would improve her life. Alright, I, I looked this shit up yesterday. Let's see. Or today, I guess. It was still today. I'm still wearing the same shirt. But it's the same day. But yesterday, I mean when it was posted. Uh, I literally just searched this. How do I not? Gawakami Persona 5 Gifts. Designer Perfume, Castella, Star Mirror. Oh, Designer Perfume is right there. Oh, fuck. Go, go back up. Go back up. Let me up. Ba -ba -ba -ba. What is it doing? There we go. A present Thanks. for me? Thank you. It's so nice to see you. I had a bit of fun in my life. It worked. It feels like touch Kawakami's heart a little. My feeling and bond will grow stronger soon. I'll see you later then. Okay. Bye-bye. Mm. Need official investigation. Well then. Today is the day we're having Futaba try and help out at the cafe, right? This will be stressful term and events. Yes, indeed. Do you want me to let Futaba help out around the shop? 
but I've never had her do anything like that before. Is she gonna be okay? Experience is important. I'll be there for her. This isn't the same as taking care of a cat, you know. D don't worry. I did graduate middle school last year. Congratulations. I'll be fine if I just think of this as my first summer job of high school. Well, in that case, uh, how about you wash the dishes? Just don't push yourself too hard, okay? Finally, I don't have to do that. Hey, are you all right? The usual boss, extra strong. <laughs> sure thing. Keep an eye on Futaba for me. Get a grip. Yes, her. She a new part timer. Man, smooth as always. What number Bond girl is this, boss? <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. It's not like that. You usually go for the older ones, right? It's only natural you'd want someone younger sometimes. It's like the Guatemala Peaberry coffee. Its acidic sweetness is akin to a breath of fresh air. Sorry, we're serving a blend today. Hey, snap out of it. Hurry up and bring him the coffee before it gets cold. Fucking God, man, was a wet. <gasps> Yo, here's your coffee. <laughs> when in the world is she? <laughs> hey, Futaba. Haven't I told you not to show up in front of people with that damn thing on? And... And be more polite when you're bringing something to a customer. Uh, here's your coffee, sir. There you go. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Some motherfucker is wrecked. Did you see? I did my job right! Take that thing off. But it uh, uh, protects me from the steam. <laughs> to think Futaba would go out and talk to a customer herself. Mask aside, I'm impressed. Looks like people really can change. I was complaining about this being wasting my time assigning to people. This is funny. I take back everything I said. I like this. Sojiro, want me to bring coffee to more customers? N mask off first. Oh, I'll think about it. Are you damn? Did anyone share information about our real identities? Like hell we do that. Why the question? I heard someone in the city saying there are acquaintance. Talk about false rumors. But hey, at least we're famous enough to have rumors about us. Or maybe even break into the news online or maybe TV. Yeah, if we aim bigger. Yeah, if we get caught. Well, yeah. By the way, how'd today go? I served coffee to customers. She did good. That's great, Pathaba Chan. Anyway, you get, better get used to it fast. You can't be a fan of thief if you're scared of people. I'll try my best. We're on a roll! Futaba seems to... Futaba's been working really hard. And then there's Ryuji. It's like he doesn't have a care in the world. <sighs> He's gonna get in trouble elsewhere down the line if he keeps this up. Yeah, he keeps on talking about... I think if anyone's to... Man. Say he's a phantom thief. It's probably him. Mask aside, I think she's built up some confidence. Uh, divulging our identities. Divulging it. Uh, street order. Okay. So I do. I I do have a DVD. This right? Yeah. So let's try and get one that improves charm. What can I do for ya? Take a look around. Uh, let's see. Charmed life. Yes, okay. Thank you very much. Please come back soon. Alright, maybe there is something around here that can be bullshit. Proficiency. Nah, yeah, okay. Never mind. Uh, I want charm. How do I get that? How do I get the fucking charm, bro? I never noticed stuff. Shibuya has a social link. That's probably that one. And then Young and Jaya is his. I don't know. How do you do Sojiro? What what level is Sojiro? I see you were social link. Confidence, not social link. Sorry, guys. Uh, Sojiro Sakura. How do I do five? It seems being hounded for money by a mysterious man appears to be a relative. Sojiro level five. 
Rank 5. Make sure you have high repulsion and equipped because this could take a while. Brew coffee for him twice if this marker does not indicate he can be ranked up. You'll have to spend time with him until he does. Available starting. What? Available starting. 8.23? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, it is something. It is 8.23. Okay. I had to wait till that. Okay, so I think I can actually do it now. I think. Because I had to wait till 8.23. Yeah, there you go. If you have time, can you help me prepare dinner? Yeah, okay. All right, then. Thanks for Thomas coming to eat today, too. Just get the curry ready and leaving the coffee to you. <laughs> I'm wicked full. How was the curry, Futaba? Delicious. I'm going to be dreaming of that stuff tonight. Um, did I taste the same as you remember it? Yep, I feel like a dummy for not wanting to eat back when I was depressed about my mom. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, the first episode of this brand new anime I want to watch is airing tonight. I'm out of here. Eyes in front of when you walk, okay? No spacing out. You ran head first into a pole last time you went for a walk. Well, you stubbed your toe on the dresser the other day. Oh, crap, it's going to start. Making a leaf fest. Screw it. Bye. <laughs> she thought it was delicious. And what about you? It wasn't bad. Nothing special. I think I'm addicted. <laughs> really? I guess you have a pretty good taste if you can understand how incredible that curry is. Now then, there's something I should probably tell you. Here, take a seat. I'll pour you some coffee. Hey, friend. Yeah. Remember how I said the recipe for this curry was developed by a scientific genius? You might have realized by now, but that genius was Futaba's mother, Wakaba. In other words, that curry is one of the last remaining connections Futaba has to her mom. Well, I first met with Cabo back when I was doing work for the government. She was real trouble, let me tell you. Logic prevailed over emotion for her, and she had an intricate knowledge of the human mind. I thought my pickup lines were the best in town, but not a single one worked on her. <laughs> was she like Futaba? She wasn't normal, huh? That's why you're a bachelor? Was she like Futaba? You could say that. It was never clear what she was thinking, so I had a hard time trying to keep up with her. Men are idiots, though. We spend our time chasing after things we can't get. Wakaba well, rejected me time and time again, but there's one instant I managed to surprise her, and that was when I gave her a plate of my homemade curry. The very next day, she came asking about all the ingredients and what goes into the cooking process. Then, just a few days later, she handed me a scientifically enhanced version of my recipe. It was incredible. She had used my curry as the basis, but it was miles better than anything I made. Curry was Wakaba's specialty from then on. Naturally, Futaba grew to love it in no time as well. But then, after Wakaba's accident, Futaba stopped eating it entirely. The flavor would make her remember the pain. I heard she even smells can bring back memories, too. But that curry's the only point of connection I had with Futaba. That's why when I took her in, I vowed to keep this recipe alive until she could eat it again. It really paid off in the end. Almost brings a tear to my eye. Eh, hey, stop that. You're starting to creep me out. <laughs> The whole idea of pairing a curry with new brew is thanks to Wakaba's refinement, too. Despite how introverted she seemed, she was extraordinarily perceptive of the people around her. I never even told her about my love of coffee, she just figured it out from looking at me. That's when I realized she was totally out of my league. Not like I really stood a chance to begin with, though she already had Futaba by then, after all. This might seem like any old curry to most people, but there are tons of emotions crammed inside. So, uh, make sure you keep the tradition going. Uh, right. I'm not even your son, but I will do that. I promise. All right. I'm glad I could level you up here. So, <laughs> all right. That's enough of this for tonight. Things are getting downright sappy in here. But that was waiting for me at home, so I should probably be heading back. Make you. sure you clean up before you go to bed. Hey yo. Oh, kindness growing. Epic. <clears throat> oh shit. My hair, guys. Again. Fucking. Hey, it's me. You finished clearing up? Fataba's still watching anime as long as she's in a good mood, though I don't mind it. Seeing her so happy now makes me glad I kept Wakaba's curry alive. It's only a problem when she asks for it three times a day. Sounds good to me. She needs a balanced diet. They're always instant noodles. She needs a balanced diet. That's exactly my problem. Fataba's still growing. I gotta be strict with her. She needs to eat balanced meals so she gets vitamins that curries can't give her. But man, the expression of Futaba's face when she took a bite of that curry. Eh, yeah, forget it. Maybe I'll have to stick with curry as a sample. But I could sneak in some veggies in here and there. Eh, yeah, I guess cooking could be a labor of love. Ah, oh, crap, I talked too much. See you later, I guess. Bye. I swear, I fucking... It's right... It's literally right here. I should do the video like this. You'd know... 
no fucking difference between me. He's so annoying. I wish the Phantom Thieves would take care of him. This would be awesome. Why not make your request on the forum? That Akechi is all talk, isn't he? Why is he so hostile towards the Phantom Thieves? Right? Some people just can't read the mood. Yeah, right? Motherfucker. Everyone's so mad at Akechi now. It's awesome. Need official investigation. Well then. Let's see. Our plans for today are, huh? Don't we have anything planned? I don't fucking know. I'm going out shopping with Makoto. We'll head over when we're done. Honestly, I wanted to bring Futaba along with us. We can't take her into crowds like that, though. That's way too soon. Sometimes drastic measures are necess necessary. Such spiky words. You know, you'll need to do this someday, right? Actually, Queen Skulls have a lot of spikes, too. They'd probably pierce my hand if I touched them. I have honestly considered that possibility as well. No, you fucking haven't, Yusuke. Don't say that! You're gonna get fucking slapped. <laughs> I knew it. Hey, this sounds like fun. I want to join in. We're talking to Fataba. This doesn't involve you. Note. On is cold to Ryuji. Don't take notes on this. Anyway, look forward to us coming over. My heart's pounding. Mm. Just mm. what are they scheming? Yeah, well, who knows. Become Prime Minister! I will. I'm so curious who the fan of these really are. Miss Miss, want me to steal your heart? Is that a pickup line? Don't make me laugh. Apparently they're even famous overseas, isn't that nuts? I wish I could join the fan of thieves. Too bad, man. You only gotta have personas. Today's the fourth day already. We getting a little better at dealing with other people? Uh, I don't know. Can't really tell. People cannot change their deep-seated habits that easily. Well, let's just say you've made some progress for now. <laughs> no! Stop it! You're gonna blow my cheeks off! Man, those girls are late. Who do they think they are making us wait like this? Hello. Please excuse us. The Apologies fuck? for the lateness. We were looking at multiple items and weren't sure which to choose. Looking? Looking at what? A swimsuit, of course, for Futaba-chan. Okay, well, give me a break. A uh, swimsuit? You don't have one, do you? No, but... Okay, let's have you try it on right now, then. Okay, no, let's not. Let's fucking... Not. What's going on with my... My face cam! What the fuck? Okay, that's better. Let's not fucking do that. It was getting out of sync with my audio. Can you see my fucking mouth moving? Fucking hell. Every time. Every time something like this happens. Can't believe it. Well, let's not fucking do that, okay? It's PG-13. You need to get demonetized here. No, 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 now? You can't go to the beach if you don't have a good-fitting swimsuit. We don't have much time left, you know. Uh, but, um... You know what'll happen if you try and look, right? Oh, wow, it's perfect! I'm amazed you were able to eyeball it with such accuracy on. I know, right? There we go! It's on! You be a little bit louder, why don't you? <laughs> this barely covers anything! That's normal for a swimsuit. Now, we just need to push these a little more this way. Push. <laughs> Are you supposed to move them with that much force? You gotta put some oomph into this stuff. <laughs> there. Good to go. Whoa, even I'm impressed. I wonder what they're doing up there. They're having her try on the swimsuit, right? What else could they be doing? Uh... Futaba in his swimsuit, hmm? I suspect that would make a great painting. Perhaps we should ask Makoto about it. Perhaps he can shut the fuck up. Go for it, Ryuji. Me? <laughs> I humbly request you do so as well. Hell no! <laughs> you guys are such children. <laughs> What's with all the ruckus upstairs? Something about a swimsuit? This is way too hard to explain, and I don't want to get into it right now. Yeah, we're going to the beach pretty soon, so they're trying some swimsuits out. Futaba's going to the beach. 
I didn't think I'd ever see her take that much interest in going outside again. Well then, it seems we're good to go with the swimsuit. All flattery aside, I think it looks really great. Now you just gotta get rid of those round shoulders. Come on, straighten out your back. We're right. She might be some trouble, but I hope she can make some great memories with you guys. Alrighty, cool. What up? We've got swimsuits, we're totally ready to hit the beach. All that's left is for Tava to prepare herself mentally. I think I can do this. Oh, I can do this, I think. Maybe. So you're not that confident. Shut up, Inari. Ah, it's finally starting to feel like summer vacation. Still, I've been thinking about some things now that matters have calmed down a little more. Like what? The psychotic breakdowns, cognitive science, and all that, and the one in the black mask. Oh, I wonder what they want. They're dangerous either way. I wonder what they want. I doubt it's anything good. That said, we don't have enough information right now. We'll need to investigate more. I'll help out too. Can we talk about this some other time? I'm so damn sleepy. Okay, good night then, Tabachan. Good luck tomorrow too. Interesting. Nice. The chief had such high expectations for us. We need to work harder to help Futaba make some good memories. Hell yeah. I'm tired. You're gonna level up next. I know that. So let's fucking do it. I waited a while to respond, but she hasn't replied. I wonder why. She's the one who invited me. She might be working as a maid. We'll call her from LeBlanc later. Mm. Kawakami didn't reply, calling her directly. This is the head nurse said, Oh yeah, I'm in the hospital, speaking on behalf of Kawakami-san. Jesus! Kawakami-san actually collapsed and she's been admitted to our hospital. Do you know where our hospital's address? Her room number is... <sighs> this isn't good. Let's head over there right away. Yeah, let's... What the fuck? Jeez. I'm just a little overworked. No need to make a big deal out of it. Haha. <laughs> but thanks for coming all this way to visit me. Uh, how could I collapse at a time like this? I really need to make some money. How am I going to make today's payment? Tuh, there you are. What's going on, Miss Kawakami? I called the school, but no one answered. What? Takasi-san, you contacted the school? Well, you weren't answering your phone. And when I thought you finally answered, it was the nurse who told us you were here. It's really an inconvenience for us when you miss a payment, you know. You're literally talking to someone in a hospital bed right now. Fuck off. Now, now, it's not like she wanted to collapse. But our credit card payment is coming up soon. We'll need you to transfer the money. I'm sorry. Those are Takasi-kun's guardians, the ones I mentioned the other day. They took care of him. Who's this? He's one of my students. He came to visit me. Messing around with another student, huh? <laughs> you never learn, do you? Tisk, tisk. And after all you did to him? I'm sorry. So, when are you going to transfer the money? I should be able to send it out tomorrow. Don't strain yourself. Don't lie. Don't pay them. Fucking wreck them. What the fuck? Stop it. Quit. Don't do that. Our precious adoptive son Taiki died because of this woman. Honestly, she should have been fired. Uh, That's not... Yet, yet, she doesn't know her place. She can still continues to teach. We're gonna need you to show some remorse for what she did to him. In a material and undeniable way. I understand. I will pay you. So, it's not like we're trying to extort you. But who was it that convinced Taiki to start studying when he needed to be working? The schoolwork on top of his part-time jobs overwhelmed him, which led to that accident. Poor Taiki, it's almost like he was murdered. So you no longer feel regret? In that case, perhaps we should sue the Board of Education. Or should we have a chat with your school? Either way, your days of a teacher would be over. Well, we're looking forward to receiving your payment. <sighs> I have to figure out a way to make more money. I guess transferring our sister company is the only way. Sister company, can you make a lot there? Think this through more. Huh, I can't believe I'm getting scolded by my student. Why? Why are you so interested in helping me? I'm not worth it. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna stop worrying about it. The money, I'll do it. I'll pay it. I'll do anything Master tells me to do. Meow. <laughs> I'm so tired. All I really want is a way to apologize to Kikasi-kun. So if his guardians demand money, then I'll just have to pay them. That's the wrong choice. There's another way? Isn't there another way? Sorry, I'm not quite back to 100% yet, so my thoughts are all over the place. I'm gonna get some rest. I appreciate you coming to visit me today. It made me really happy. I feel like Kamakami is starting to depend on me. Damn. Those sons of bitches, I'm fucking wrecked right. them. Can we change their hearts? Can we make them have a change of heart? 
I'll be released first thing tomorrow morning, so don't worry. The IVs here really work well. Visiting hours are over. I'll see you later then. Get home safe, okay? Mm. Okay, their word is final. So what should we do today? Let's see. Want to eat together? You know, like how we had Hot Pot that one time. That may be a good idea. It'll be a great way to strengthen our intra-squad friendships. I... I can do that! Okay, I'll take a cola and an omelet with rice. Oh, and make that a large, please. I'd like the same. Who are you talking to? Do you have the money? Can you eat all that? Of course I can. There is no doubt in my mind. Dude, you're missing the point here. We're supposed to be helping Futaba, not stuffing our faces. I want the same. Extra large. Fucking fruit flies, bro. Uh, I ate loads. Damn, Futaba, I'm impressed. Indeed, your appetite is quite nice to see. I much prefer that to women who don't eat a lot. You better not be hitting on me. <laughs> oh, you got fucking told. How rude. Sojiro, help me. Will you stop that? So does this he mean does not care. our training's going good? I think so. It's not a failure. I guess that's not bad. Hey, let me make you guys some after-meal coffee. It's on me. Thank you. I want iced cocoa! You can't handle bitter stuff either, right? Iced cocoa sound good? Yeah, definitely. Extra cold, please. <laughs> I don't think we've ever had a lunch this lively. Mm -hmm. It's lots of fun. Hell yeah, we are doing something today. Fucking simple though, but you know, who's that? Hey, what do you think we should do about a beach trip? Doesn't it look like she can go soon? Well, she has started to talk a lot more. She's made great process comparing to how she was at the beginning. Why are we just talking about her as if she's not in the fucking right there? I could see right there. Why are you just talking? Talking to her like she's not, she can't fucking read this. Thoughts for Tabo? You'd be able to do this tomorrow, perhaps? Tomorrow? That's too soon. I want to prepare myself. Uh, power through. Don't force it. When is good for you? Don't force it. I think I could do it if I get a little more time. What happened? I should be good if it's the day after tomorrow, I think. Well, I'll go the day after tomorrow then. Just let us know if you aren't up for it, Futab, okay? It's alright, I can do like this. we know when we'll actually finish up now. The beach is finally within reach. Hell yeah. How would you know when you're gonna be ready for it beforehand, though? Okay. Well, I made it this far, though. Let's see how tomorrow goes. I should write Y'all. something. Let me make sure I save my game here. Cool. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. My name is LazerFighter111. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe to this video for more awesome content, and I will see you guys later.